Hello, welcome once again to my channel Cool Econometrics. In this video, I'll be taking you through on how to perform lag order selection for panel uh, for a panel data set. So if you have like an effect auto regressive model that is in panel form and you want to kind of select uh, which lag is uh, adequate for carrying out such analysis, I've done that for um, a time series VAR model in my previous video, but I've been asked to kind of replicate same for panel data set. So the first thing I want you to know is that uh, you need to, um, so here I have my panel data set here. Uh, if I click on these, uh, you could see it comes out. So this is my panel data set. You could see councils over time, and then I have the temperature and precipitation. Uh, so I'm going to use that as an example to do this. Please note that I'm not trying to infer anything. These are just random data set that I can lay on some to be able to demonstrate how to use this functionality in Stata. So the first thing I want you to do is to install the PIVA, uh, to install the PIVA, uh, the PIVA package. However, the PIVA package is not available uh, in terms of the normal SSC install, so you need to search it. So if you click on this search PIVA, it gives you a couple of options of where you could get, you know, such kind of a package. And then you click on these. This is one of the websites where you can download it from. So if you click on these, web, as data helps you to do the download. You just click here to download. Uh, I don't need to do that because if I do that, it will tell me that it's already uh, on my, uh, it's already there and everything is up to date. That files already exist and are up to date. But if it's not for you, then you need to download it afresh. So I close this. Uh, since this is a panel data set, I have to declare it that it's a panel data set so that Stata is aware that I'm dealing with panel data. So I X T set my data set with council, the panel ID, and the panel ID and the, and the, the, the time ID. So you see, this is um, a strongly balanced panel data set. It doesn't mean that you can't, you know, uh, that this PIVA functionality won't work without. Um, uh, in, in, in the case of an unbalanced panel data, it can also work. It's applicable. Now, the PVI has a lot of functionality in heat, but because I'm just interested in dealing with the other selection, I'm going to progress with that. Uh, if you, uh, in subsequent videos, I'll be talking about the other functionalities of the PVI, but because of popular demand, that's why I'm producing this video peculiar, particularly for, uh, for selecting. Um, lag order. So what you need to do is, in this case now, uh, you need to let's say within this package there is a function called PIVA SOC. So that's the function that we have you to select the lag order. And um, I have two variables. It could be one variable. It could be two variables. It could be three variables. But in this sense, I have two variables that I want to get the lag order from since I am working in terms of a vast selection. So it's kind of going to perform a PIVA analysis, a kind of vector uh, uh, regressive uh, an analysis before it now picks the lag, uh, the optimal lag. And then there are options here. We have PIVA opt options and there are different things that could be in these options. One thing that I want to put here is to select my instrument, the, uh, the number of lags that we have as my instrument. So I want from the first to the fourth lag to act as instrument. You could choose from the second to the fourth lags. You could choose from the third to the fourth lag. You could do. You could play around with it and get something that is optimal. So uh, the idea. That, so that's so that's the idea. Uh, so if you run this, for example, sorry about that noise. You know, if you run this, for example, um, you you have this result. Okay, you have this result, and then um, if you look at this now. Tells you the number of observations, the number of panels, the number of time, the year, the, 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 the times, uh, the time panels, you know, uh, times of how many years do you have. So how does this work? Um, now you've got all this result. Uh, so based on this, you could see that uh, the result here presents what's the, the first, second and third other panel VAR models, you know, using the uh, first four lags of the of the endogenous variables as instruments 
Uh, if we look at uh, the result, how do we know which lag is optimal, what should be selected? Remember, I'm not trying to, this could be, I mean, I'm not inferring anything. This is just random variables that I pick to kind of do my analysis. So based on this, you could see that uh, the we could prefer the third, the third order panel var, that's the third lag, the, the lag 3, because um, it has the smallest uh, NBIC, MAIC, and MQ. I see, and also you could see that it minimizes the Ansin J Ansin's J statistic. So that's um, that's um, so in this case now you could pick the, 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 the you could pick your optimal lag as like three, and then like I said you could play around with some of there are other options you could put you could decide to use first uh, uh, first order difference um, forward orthogonal difference you could decide to use GMM style. And see what it's going to give you. Perhaps it's going to, you know. So uh, there are different ways you could go about it, and let's see what it produces. So yeah, it gives us the same. It tells us so. It's um, basically much, uh, much of the same thing. Uh, so, uh, so that's it um, from me uh, about using and uh, finding, getting your other selection criteria in terms of uh, for with for panel data set. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my video, and um, I look forward to bringing out another video in subsequent edition on how to use the other functionalities in the PIVA model, in the PIVA package. And for now, do have a good day. Bye.